Just the other day, saw you looking my way. Uh, Stop to contemplate moments that went to waste. Uh, why you do that? You drop me like who that? And put me through that. My baby, it's useless. I'm living my life. Don't need you with mine. Me feeling just fine. One of a kind. Who better than I? Shot it, don't play that game. Shot it, don't play that game. I don't keep you safe. Time that I'll be okay. I don't play that game. Shot it, don't play that game. I know my place. Shot it, I know my. I got a lot to do. I got a lot to do. I got a lot to do. Got a lot of... At the crack of dawn in the dark. He was night, stung four times on the same day by bees and on the was, face. Yeah, like. But different, uh, different times. No, no, like the, I was running. Yeah. I remember I was a kid. I don't know whether we sumbuad the bees. Okay, you probably it's, did. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Because this was primary school. Yeah. But I ran. There were bees in our ceiling. You know that space between. Yeah. In the roof yeah. And the, yeah. 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 Got it. Where we lived. So they were agitated. Uh-huh. They. Hey. They fluttered me. That one I know they were serious mm-hmm. about the assignment because I ran and they chased me and in that running. Mm-hmm. Because I'd come home, mm-hmm. I was beat by one. I was mm-hmm. like, hey. So I start running. Mm-hmm. Others are coming. Mm-hmm. Three got me as mm-hmm. I was running. Oh, wow. I stayed away from home for a while. <laughs> river, lake, you know, Dufumpararo. Dufumpararo. Yeah. Have you swam in a river before? Lakes, Kwanza are, there, are my favorite places to swim. I've come to love lakes more than oceans. Hey, mm. let's walk lake. I've never even swam in a. Oh, dear. In a lake or a river, I don't think. Well, you're the only oh, problem. Yeah. I love the ocean. Yeah. Lakini, yeah. I don't really like fighting <laughs> with salt water in my nose trills. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Kawev kanakamdu, nakunaka drop tu kwenye street in the nose trills. Mpaka over here. We want him to tell us, tell us what the problem is, then we come out. But like you don't know, this place has crocs. You know, Mutua is. Is our local David, Dave? You know, Dave and his like, then the crocodile bit me on the arm, and it just grabbed me by yeah. the arm. My toes is one coming with the stories now. Hello, you guys! New vlog, new room tour. I'm really, really excited to take you guys on a four, actually, three day um, Mutura Conservancy via Jumbo Mutura camp adventure. <laughs> That's where we are. We're at Jumbo Mutura and it's at the... Oh, Ila, you're coming. Okay, come, come on in. <laughs> I'll vlog later. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah, so we are at Jumbo Mutura, which uh, if you've been to Al Pajeta, they kind of share, they're literally right next to each other. I'm also seeing that my screen seems quite... Let me just clean that up real quick. I don't know if that's better. All I know is that our drive here was super dusty as well at some point. Um, at some point, not most, most of it was actually really great. Um, what else do I want to fill you in on? Okay, so we left, oh, but there were many stopovers, so I wouldn't say that we left Nairobi at 6.30, although that's when they came to pick me up. I would, I don't know, but we got here, 6.30 though is when we left my house and had a couple more stops. And then we got here at about 1.30, I think. So it was quite a drive, but there were a couple of stops to use the restroom and, uh, and what, to get some bites and stuff. Anyway, enough of that. I want to give you a quick room tour. Oh, no wait, no wait. I lie, I lie. I also should say that we are here courtesy of uh, Let's Discover travel they are a travel agency and so if you want to book yourself a unique stay or experience at a luxury resort or like a really nice boutique type space they're the people to check out i'll leave a link to their website in the description box but also to their instagram of course to uh, jumbo mutura as well i should also say that this is a pr stay um, which means that they've kindly offered us their space um for the next few days uh but with no like real obligation to post and everything but of course I'm going to post so prepare for lots of photos on my Instagram and of course this YouTube video now that we're done with that intro let me show you my tent so first of all it was like a, a pretty long walk to this tent and this is uh, tent number nine um, and it goes all the way across till there all right let's go in so it is literally a tent where you kind of have to zip 
yourself in at night. The light is like tripping, it's slowly trying to adjust, but there we go. So that's the entrance, and you've got a little console table with your tea. Ah, oh, maybe, do I want tea? I'm not sure, I might want tea, I'm not sure. Little lounge area here. When you pan to this side, that's when you get the bed. I really like it. I have to say, if this is what like camping is about, I'm I'm here for it. I'm not sure I'm here for like the struggle camping life, <laughs> which for the record, Motua has been trying to say that that is something we have to do. And I have to agree, like I have to try an actual camping experience, like a real tent. And then the bathroom. Some tents have bathtubs this one doesn't have a bathtub um i think patricia's has a bathtub actually and i can't wait to go see it i also saw another one out on that side um that we passed that had a but it was a family tent so it was pretty big and um they had a bathtub too um but i have a shower and i love that they've tried to make it seem like it's outdoors so you've got that view oh look look like you could just be showering and like little birds are like checking you out right there. No one can see you for the record. And then the bathroom. Oh, and the closet. <laughs> that is a closet. Actually, I think I'm going to need more hangers. I might call for more hangers to be brought in. Oh, I didn't show you the outside. Oh my gosh. What am I thinking? So that's the watering hole. <sighs> How funny is it that now there aren't going to be any animals but when we were having lunch there were like zebras and antelopes and just like a bunch of animals there and then in the other room some of the other rooms this is where the bathtub is and you can tell like no other person can see you on that side and to that side it's just the wilderness so it would be ideal to kind of have like long baths and just sit somewhere like here. All right, this girl has to unpack and settle in and then I'll meet you when we go out. If I go swimming, I'll kind of take you with me, which I don't know if I'll have time for, but if not, then I'll take you on the walk for sure. You can't see it, but I literally come to Spaces Now and make myself at home. I've got my extension cable, my speaker, and my phone. First thing I ask for is uh, Wi-Fi. And I'm listening to the CrossFit Games, you guys! You guys! I've been waiting for this for so long and I've just got it playing on one of my phones. Um, I'm going to place you here and I'm going to attempt to unpack. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. Thanks for the time for me to go in. Like I died deep. Like I'm last week night with the flow here, Johnny Boy, my peeps. I'm an infotainment state. My brain ain't contained. Guys, I'm a little confused because that's our ride. <laughs> you guys, that's our ride. <laughs> We're just out. We're out in the wild. We're gonna have a safari walk. It's actually the first time I've ever been on one of these walks. Guys, I have I have a question. If we were um, left in the wild for the night, who between us do you think would um, is least likely to survive and most likely to survive? I would be least likely. Oh, but I just, she will die first. I'll take Why would I die first? She just faint. Why would I die first? Because I feel I feel like you would be you'd get freaked out by things quite often. I just wouldn't sleep. I don't think I'd sleep. I'd be alert and I'd be on guard. You would, like the slightest movement, you'd be like, what is that? What is that? Then you'd run and trip. Me. No, no, no. I wouldn't and then run. Then I wouldn't. Food. No, I wouldn't run. I'd be on guard and I'd be most, um, like I'd just find a corner and kind of like, you know, like the girl we were talking about who kept on fainting in the roller coaster. Yeah, that's I'd what you ever say. <laughs> I just internalize all the panic and then I'd faint. I mean, and then honestly, the thing that will kill me is because yeah. I will definitely sleep. <laughs> like even if I'm on guard, I'll sleep. And then Ahina will just start eating me and I'll find out when it's in, at my knee. I'm like, oh my, my guy, god. what's happening? Uh, then I faint like that guy. Oh my god. You wake up and faint, you're like, he's gone. You're like, Allah. This is zebra hair. From the tail. It's so tough. It's so, it almost feels like wire. Oh my goodness. Plastic, yeah. like plastic. Okay, so far we've seen just 
zebras and antelopes we've heard hyenas but nothing scary has charged at us which is great oh can you see them can you see them crossing can you see the oh that's so cool zebra crossing Come on. Mm. We're having sugar cane. Um, some people are having wine. That's Patricia. I've got water. You see Patricia and Akunya wine, please. But you're having wine. All these appearances should be. Oh, well, that's all I'm saying. Paid appearances. That's all I'm saying. Way. Yeah, we okay. are We are giving now. flavor. So, you're giving flavor. Okay. <laughs> okay, Matua. Even Mutuku. Mm, Mutuku. By the I way, Mutuku, Mutuku, Mutuku and his slippers. <laughs> can we talk, can we just talk about the fact that this guy is out in the wild in slippers? Mm. Mutuku. <laughs> his toes are very resilient. Anyway, um, we had a really good walk. Didn't see any scary animals, which is great. Um, we did hear some. We did get to hear some scary stories of the rangers having seen scary animals. Um, and we are now sat at the fire. We kind of have missed the sun. I feel like we've brought the cold to um, Jumbo Mutara. Because when we got here, it was like hot, like hot. Okay, you are sat on a glass. Um, I think you're going to stay you last until someone uses a glass to drink water. But um, we're back from from the game drive stroke uh, sundown. Sunda oh yeah, it was a bushwalk. It wasn't a game drive. Bushwalk stroke sundowners. The nice fire conversations were so good. You guys, I wish I wish it was possible to kind of have you guys along through the conversations because I think that's also what kind of makes the trip but that would also be like a three and a half hour vlog and no one's here for that <laughs> i've like i've been have you seen i've been avoiding the camera like, okay okay okay, okay. No, no, it's fine. okay good okay good Nime cha, nime no cha, you can nime. never and she's got braids she's got her hair did she looks gorgeous yeah i'm so tired though my eyes have been red all day I she had two to, hours of sleep. I tried to take a nap um, before the bushwalk. Yeah. It was maybe half an hour. And I remember waking up and thinking, I might, uh, like, I feel like I, I, I can't do this. We I'm talked sorry. about um, content creation yeah, in cool. this country, which I actually have to say, I don't think it just is do? in this country. I've heard other content creators from the UK even talk about not receiving payment two years after Let doing the work long. two years and, and having to hire can I tell you the having to hire gone, debt collectors can i tell you the longest i've gone yeah without receiving my pay yeah <laughs> five, five years five years, five years. Five years. Did you actually get it? Yeah, but it was not the full amount. Are you five years? And, and because I made a decision, some of the challenges I've had mm -hmm. in delivering certain things, so maybe I'm a bit empathetic as well, yeah. so I don't push it too hard. So people know that. <laughs> Where's Patricia? I like how she placed it right in front. You continue, Patricia. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. No, 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 we're just, I'm just making fun of her. But it is during her maiden visit to the self-confessed preacher's house that she was shocked to find paraphernalia associated with witchcraft and magical rituals. What was meant to be a romantic date turned ugly as the woman demanded to know how the man of the cloth she had fallen in love with possessed paraphernalia associated with dark powers. Hashtag Fichua Quadisii Pussy Ogope! <laughs> good morning. Good morning. New day, new good vibes. Oops, sorry, I'm being attacked. Sorry, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, uh, new good vibes here at uh, Jumbo Mutara. We slept so well. We're both saying how we like overslept because it gets really, really cold. Yeah. But they've got electric blankets, a heater, and like all the vibes. So we both overslept, yeah. <laughs> and we're just rushing quickly to try get some photos. Bye their infinity pool which looks out to the watering hole. I'm wearing my brightest pink lip to hopefully bring the sun out. But it looks, it looks like the sun will come out. Like you can see it's blue sky. It's just not out right now. <laughs> So, 
we had breakfast um, and came out to Morani, which is about an hour's drive away from uh, Jumbo Mutara. We're about to see the last two female North and White rhinos in the world. The last two female. Um, and I think, Alfred, will we be able to like interact with them, touch them a little, you or no? You live and kiss one. I got the lipstick for it too. So I've met Sudan before. I don't know if you can even hear me um, because it's super windy but I just have to come on here to say like this has been one of those ex speechless, incredible, like once in a lifetime experiences. We've just like interacted with these rhinos. Two of them are the last northern white rhinos and they're both females and it's just like we touched them and we were feeding them carrots and then oh, I'm just so happy. I feel like I can finally fill you in now that there's not too much wind, I hope, um, and things have settled down a bit. But that was incredible. It was so good. I'm so grateful that um, Mutara Camp brought us here uh, because I know, I mean, I know a few years ago I came back to this same spot back when Sudan was still alive and he was the last, the last Northern um, white rhino the male male white rhino, white rhino obviously it was like an incredible experience and and then a few years later heard that he had passed away and i just didn't i don't know i didn't think i'd ever get a chance to come back and so this time this time it just felt more i don't know it i, I can't i can't put it to words but you know what i mean like when you go somewhere and you have an experience that you can't put to words because it was just too beautiful and magnificent and felt like it was like higher power type stuff oh it was so lovely so what we're doing now oh what you also saw just then the clips that you just saw back then it was us seeing Baraka and he is a blind rhino and um yeah so we were just kind of feeding him and interacting with him but for some reason I felt a little sad because he had these uh, like scars and wounds and the uh, guide the ranger was trying to say like no 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 it's natural you know this is what happens to to a lot of rhinos because they have these parasites that live inside them and they try to break through their skin and I was just like but he has wounds all over him like like prop like with flies oh, I just it, I just felt like really bad for him and, and I know that's like nature and that's how things work but I was just like oh, I feel bad I feel like Baraka needs a spa day or 50 of them anyway so now what we're doing is we are headed to we are going to where are we going we're going to see the chimps which is another thing I did um, a few years back when I was with Susan I think we were filming it for our two cents if I remember correctly um, and the stories about the chimps were crazy those things they're like their own little mafia worlds it's insane they're like humans they're like us with their uh, issues and dynamics and all of that intense anyway we are just gonna jump in the car and head over to see the chimps
Oh, guys, I just also have to say, I'm really sorry for the little sun... Well, they're not sunspots. It's actually dirt, like little flecks. And they're like inside the camera. And I think it's just... I don't know how to get rid of them. So if they appear here and there, just bear with me until I figure out how to get rid of all of that. I ain't felt this free since the summer began You got my number again I'm falling over you friend This love is overdue I'm in the moment again I'm feeling present It's been a pretty minute on this side of the grass My mom found her man I pray he ain't like my paps I swear I'm staying way back from all anxieties I'm lying again That's to myself How the fuck I tell the truth to a friend It's the end of the summer again You got my number It's the picture perfect purple Pretty boy inside a circle singing Let's go pop that bubble Go and find a little trouble in Chinatown drinking sake like American man wearing a mask that we share with our friends we all like parties pretend that the drawing we dealt with our friends this is it this is the ultimate ultimate fire you can tell how strong it is by how little lashes I have on <laughs> anymore because <laughs> it's seared all my lashes they're all gone R.I.P. brows no, it's not that bad, but it's bad. It's strong, in a good way, because it's really cool. But, um, ooh, I hope you can hear me with uh, all the wind, but we've come out, it is about 7 p.m., and we're just gonna enjoy a little bonfire and then go have dinner in maybe another half hour, maybe an hour or so. Uh, we had a late lunch, so it's, oh jeez, it's so windy, I don't know if you can hear me, but we had a late lunch, so I'm not sure, and people are really hungry for dinner anyway. But, um, these two are talking about... <laughs> I'm not gonna tell them what you're talking about. <laughs> We're talking about the fire. We're talking about the fire. The fire. <laughs> so this song is called Grace. It's about um, a devastated lover who's been left over Christmas. Oh, Kurezi, Kurezi, Masi! Unakula, Nanani! Mama, oh, Good morning, everybody. I don't know where the energy has come from, but it's come and it's come strong. I had a great night's sleep. Oh, yesterday. Oh, guys, wait, first, rewind. Yesterday, last night, the bonfire and the music, I just, I just, there's no words for it. Um, we spent maybe two hours, um, maybe an hour and a half, just outside by the fire and we were listening to music that Fadili was playing and it was just incredible. Like at some point, it just felt like, like this, like this is where I was supposed to be in this moment. It just felt warm, cozy. You know those moments I'm talking about. Kind of like what I was talking about earlier with the rhinos and just feeling like, what? Like uh, spiritual almost. Um, the music was so lovely, so lovely. Uh, and then I we went and had dinner after and I came back to my room. I actually came here and kind of left everyone there. I was just feeling pretty tired and it was quite late. For me who sleeps at 9.30, 11 p.m. is like really pushing it. <laughs> so I came here and at some point was like, all right guys, the wind is about to knock over my tent because it was wild. I actually even texted Patricia like I, I, I may or may not live through the night. <laughs> but we're okay. Obviously everything is like tethered and like locked down properly so nothing is moving. But the wind can be monstrous. Like uh, Patricia was talking about like we are on the windward side and so this is the Abadair winds. I don't even know. She had the geography of it all. But I was just like, aha. Uh -huh. No wonder one, the winds are 
chilling and two super strong um luckily i've got a heater and there's an electric blanket in there oops let me move this there's an electric blanket um in the bed and you can like hike it up although i left it at one um instead of taking it all the way to four so it gets really toasty like toasty enough for me to like even want to like i i might start sweating if i'm not careful so i had a good night's rest woke up opted out of breakfast uh because i wasn't really hungry but also i was really keen on trying to create content so i've just been filming a uh, an IGTV uh, that I want to have up at some point next week, I think. It's about um, La Roche-Posay and their new hyaluronic acid. I should tell you, actually, I should bring it out here and tell you about it or, or take you to my bathroom and, um, and show it to you. But it's actually something that I've been using for months and they gave me a little itty bitty vial that I could just test out because I think it only just launched um, maybe a month ago now. I'll leave a link to where you can get it down below. This video is not sponsored by La Roche, but you guys know I work with them. So um, I just thought I should tell you that they've got a really good hyaluronic acid out. You know I love their vitamin C serum. Um, and so, I don't know, maybe you want to try this out. I actually learned that their hyaluronic acid is one of the best-selling products or best-selling serums i think um i'm not sure <laughs> is it best i don't think it's a best-selling product i'm sure the sunscreen must be the best-selling product so it must be their best-selling serum i think i don't know don't quote me but i was like what even more than their vitamin c which i love um but apparently it is let me actually let's just go to the bathroom i was trying to like line them up because i was trying to take the photo um let me put everything down before we have an accident, especially with these bad boys, because these, these are glass. Um, right, so you guys know I've been raving about this for months. I love this so much. Oh, oh sorry, honey. <laughs> but this one, this is actually what I just opened. I took it out of the packet, which is back there, and it's there. What is it actually? It's called Hylou B5 Serum, which is essentially hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, and well, I'm not sure how to pronounce that word, but that. Um, so Hylou B5. Yo, it feels amazing. Smells really nice. It's a very faint smell, so it's nothing that's too intrusive. So again, I'll link them down below in case you want some of that. On the agenda for the day uh, is what well, I was creating that content in the morning. I also got some um, content around here that I wanted to shoot, which was great, um, of the tent and, and the space in general here in the rooms. I have a 3 p.m. live event for Chasing Paper Books because we are finally talking about my most impactful book probably ever i can i can only think of one other book that kind of left me completely like created such a big shift in my life and that was uh the power which is a sequel to the secret um but this i think is even more significant like i i just it's it's i, I like mm -mm, no words uh so if you haven't read a New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, which I know I said I'm not going to talk about anymore, but if you haven't read it, just, you know, pick it up, give it a chance. It, I don't know if you're in the right space or the right headspace, because you know how sometimes you have to be in the right mind frame for a book to really resonate or for you to connect with something or someone. I hope that you are in the right space, because this for me has been... I have no words. I have no words. So we have that at 3 p.m. At about 4.30, I have a massage scheduled. It's going to be in my room, which I'm really excited about. I actually haven't had a massage in a while. I tend to like sports massages more than regular massages because I, I like to have my body kind of kneaded in. And I can still feel my body's a little bit sore from the last workout I did, which is on Wednesday. Um, it was lots of deadlifts and box jumps. Um, uh, yeah, so anyway, I've got a massage scheduled in and I'm I'm keen to see how I feel afterwards um, Although I, I'm pretty certain like anytime someone does something to you, you know Like whenever someone's like oiling your hair or like massaging your scalp or like rubbing your back Like all these little acts that you normally do for yourself when someone else does it for you It just feels like like you just want to drool and sleep. It just feels really relaxing um, So I'm sure I'll enjoy it, but I'll obviously bring you along for that and then uh, dinner but before that did I say lunch at some point at some point I'm gonna have to eat lunch because I'm already feeling a little ravenous um, Right, 
For now, I'm probably gonna change, and I think I want to put on the jeans that I got from uh, Vivo, or I should say more specifically, Safari by Vivo. These are the jeans. Uh, I told you guys I had to borrow Motua's jacket because I packed like a lunatic, <laughs> And I thought I was, I don't know, going to the beach. So a lot of my clothes, I just didn't have any warm items. And I've just got like things like bikinis. And I was ready for all of that. I was not ready for the wind and the chill. Um, anyway, so I, I also have, which kind of looks similar to this. But I guess in the camera, you can see the tones are quite different. This is a little bit more, has a little bit more green um, to it. But this is another Safari by Vivo piece. Um, Fatma has one that's, almost identical but the color colorways are a little different too and hers is kind of cinched at the waist this one is just like a, a shirt so I think I'm gonna pair these two which will kind of make me look like I'm wearing what Fatma was wearing yesterday and I might go around and try take some photos of some of the other pieces I packed this is also another another vivo piece it's palazzo pants they're quite sheer but they do have um, a lining that kind of hits about mid thigh uh, so that you're you know in a so that your underwear is not really seen I've got anyway I'm not gonna show you all of that I think what I will do though is change <laughs> into something and maybe do my makeup a little bit although I've just done my skincare and I'm like but do I even need to do my makeup because I'd just rather have my skin be like fresh faced. But I will do my makeup. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm, uh, wait a second. I want to do a cool transition. So, and we're done. I'm wearing the pants I told you about. You see how what I meant? Like they've got like the lining inside and they're sheer. Um, and then I'm just going to wear some sandals from Equeta. I've come out to lunch and look who's here. Lots and lots of zebras. Gosh, there's so many. Lunch today is inside. I think I'm going to sit here so I can face outside. And let's see. Oh, I think the beetroot and apple salad sounds really good for a starter. Oh gosh, do I want a beef lasagna? Maybe a beef lasagna would be a good thing to have. And with some seasonal vegetables hmm and a fruit salad i think i think that's what i'm gonna go for this part of my video is for my mom and my brother because <laughs> mom and jeff look um, Hi guys. yeah about a week ago and they were watching your um Kimpits kimpitsky vlog yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, literally yeah. put, put it on for us for me and they're like no you oh, need that's to, like, awesome look at this Love it. So mom and dad, I mean, mom and Jeff specifically, look who I met <laughs> at uh, Jumbo Mutara. Are you here for a long while? Or we, for just, we just two arrived. Nights? Yeah. Two nights, okay. Yeah. We're Monday. leaving tomorrow. Oh, okay. oh so cool. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Sharon, by the way. Nice Dave, to meet you, Tracy. Tracy. Dave and Tracy. Yeah. Oh, what are the chances? <laughs> Lunch has been had, and we're about to sit down for our live to discuss the book that we both feel we're trying so hard not to preach about because it's been so impactful for both of us. Okay, so how do I, how are you going to sit? She set, Patricia's setting it up on her. Can you see my crotch? You can't. So I'll probably see you in an hour and a half maybe. I don't even know if I'll have my massage later this afternoon like I said because it seems like everyone's one hour is taking longer than the one hour. Um, so I'm not really dying. Why is it darker on your? Is it your screen, or this the the filter? The screen. Yeah, I'm oh, trying to. You know, this is, is yeah. This is the, the oh. it's the older one. Yeah. No, it's bright. Yeah, it's bright. Okay. I'm trying to make it straight. You see how it's the mirror? Yeah, there. That's good. Okay. Yeah. How are you going to sit? So that are you going to sit back or sit in front? Trying to see how, yeah, I, we're not, it's half and half. It's straight. But you know what I think? My eyes, do, my eye, it does something to, to the it's face, right? It's a filter. And I, I know, I know. It, like all the way down. You know me, I don't like I those know. ones. 
for Nini. Four. Four. So when it's like, so let's say it's here. Yeah. The one. Here. Yeah. So I usually put it all the yeah. way at the bottom. But I still am seeing my face, and the face looks like. I think I'm trying to. But the, okay, let me put the filter that I think we usually go to like. Oh my gosh! If you could just be in focus. Uh, any second now. Struggles. Sis? Yeah. Hey. Hey, Are you out taking photos? Yeah, I'm going to create a reel. Oh, look at her. You look so pretty. Hello. We're both Thank in you. like our Vivo. Yeah. Um, is that Vivo top two? Yeah, this oh, is nice. Safari and this is Shop Z2. Oh, nice. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> that looks so cute. Where are you going? Which side? To number seven. I want to shoot my reel by in one of the rooms that has a bathtub. Whoops, got easily distracted there. But I was just saying that that was such a fun life. It was so good. This is also the path to our rooms. Like literally, it's just like you're walking in the wilderness. One time as I was walking, I heard a noise, but they've got an electric fence around the property. So I know it's not like a buffalo, but the noise was loud enough. I swear I'm not, I'm not doing that for the camera. I, I did hear another noise. The noise I heard earlier was really loud. Hello? Hello? Now I'm hearing noises in my room. What's happening, guys? Hello? Oh, you know what I'm hearing? It must be like the creaking of the tent. That must be what like I'm hearing. And it's making me panic a little. Anyway, I'm uh, gonna quickly rush off to shoot some stuff with Fatma. No, I think I need to keep this on. I'll quickly rush off to shoot some stuff with Fatma and I'll catch you at dinner. But um, what I was trying to say is that the live was so good. It was just like, <sighs> such good vibes, such good vibes. I'm really grateful for that platform, Tracing Paper Books and all the people who are reading along with us and sharing along with us and helping expand our ideas and asking like the questions that everyone then gets to kind of think about and think through. Love it love it hello you guys i didn't really pick up my camera much yesterday i think i just was mostly out of it mostly fatigued but also mostly laughing my head off that's what, mostly what we did i've used the word mostly so many times but really that's what we did last night we just kind of laughed watched really funny videos of people on really scary rides like roller coaster rides and you know how those can be really funny um that's what we spent our evening doing obviously that and like having dinner um and kind of planning out what today will be because this is the day that we leave jumbo mutara and we are at the swimming pool area i want to shoot some stuff with mutua mutua is shooting some stuff for patty patty is shooting some stuff for mutua so there's a lot of content creation going on before 11 which is when we're supposed to leave do i think we'll leave at 11 no, but I've uh, like I imagine we'll probably leave here at 11 30 to 12, but I'm not gonna say that out loud. But I don't think we're actually gonna make it for 11. Um, so as they shoot their stuff, I think I'm gonna go to my room and um and try and pack because I'm not started any of that. This morning, I had someone come to my room and open the tent, the canvas because you it's a complicated process, it's not like open your window and go outside, it's like they need to like fold it up and all of that and when he came he showed me a pack of hyenas and he was telling me this story about how yesterday some i think it was some lions that tried to eat to like they were you know hunting a, a, a zebra and then hyenas came and tried to take the zebra from them and in that scuffle the zebra got away but it had already been injured like its leg and its tummy area um, anyway, so he was saying like he thinks the hyenas could hear the cries of other hyenas having found the zebra Very complicated kind of National Geographic But it was so cool because I could see them and they just like they were in a pack and they could kind of, They were like almost communicating with each other and it was just round the bend right next to my room So cool. So cool um, Anyway, I'm gonna try go pack and Get my life in order <laughs> And I'll bring you guys for my shoot with Matua. He's doing a reel with me, you guys. I'm gonna get a reel with Matua and all his like cool kid. Can you see how he's just such a cool kid? This beanie and his shoes and everything. Anyway, um, I will see you there. We have just finished shooting. I had 
such a dope session with Mutua, who for the record, for the record, if there are any awards out for like who is the best dressed man in Nairobi, 100% it's Mutua, if you ask me at least, 100%. Mutuku, your second. <laughs> Dido, your third. Yes, Dido. Third. <laughs> but like on a serious note, your style, your style. Like I just borrowed his sunglasses to shoot this dress. This is like a Hali uh, X Hekaya collection mm -hmm. and borrowed his sunglasses and I was like, I would never have picked up those sunglasses on my own, no? but he just looked so good. He's just so dope. You wouldn't have like even, No, I would never, I would never. I would never even look twice at them. But like, look at his earrings. I feel like I'm being that person like, look at that, look at that creature out in the wild. Look this at his hat. It's not, it's not even like, it doesn't go all the way because that's the style, you know? And then the earrings, I don't know. There's, uh, there's just a lot about your style that's so cool that I'm just saying here, someone needs to do a collection or a collaboration or something like that with Mutua. I agree, so yeah. all the people listening. <laughs> there, here he is. This, yes, we are the sun, oh Mutua, yes. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh, oh, hat, hat, hat. It was flying off. It was, um, it didn't, it didn't go. But you see what I'm talking about? Look at the hat he has. Like, how would I ever even? But this is such a, such a Clearly. I can't wear it all the time. Yeah. Like, it's look at like... that. And look, it's still, it's still his vibe. It's like everything you touch just, ah. Just, I don't know. <laughs> there are people who are naturally cool and then there's like the rest of us. <laughs> Just like that, it's time to say goodbye. We're in, um, ooh, what would you call this? I don't know, the, like the lounge area, I guess. Uh, we've just been shooting some photos for Fatma, uh, like group photos that Fatma will put up, and it's time to go home. Uh, it's actually time to go on like a five hour drive. <laughs> Oh man, but I'm, this has been so lovely and I can't wait to share all the photos and images and this video actually with you guys. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you very soon. Bye! Night, what I got to do? Got to do! I'ma make it loud, how I made to scream like a cockatoo. Squall! Turn the party web, about to show the rest what the boy can do. What you expect, how I forget these thoughts of you